50 Phrasal Verbs in Computer Sciences Hello and welcome to our video on 50 Phrasal Verbs in Computer Sciences. Phrasal verbs are a combination of a verb and one or more particles that function as a single unit. In computer sciences, these phrasal verbs are used extensively and are important to understand for effective communication. In this video, we will cover 50 commonly used phrasal verbs in computer sciences along with their meanings and examples. 1. Backup. To make a copy of data, example, I always back up my important files in case my computer crashes. 2. Boot up. To start a computer, example, I need to boot up my computer before I can start working. 3. Bring up. To mention or start discussing a topic, example, let me bring up the issue of security before we proceed with the project. 4. Check in. To register for an event or to submit work, example, I need to check in at the conference registration desk before attending any sessions. 5. Check out. To borrow a library book or to leave a hotel, example, I checked out three books from the library yesterday. 6. Clean up. To delete unnecessary files or to organize data, example, I need to clean up my computer to free up some storage space. 7. Come across. To find something unexpectedly, example, I came across an interesting article on artificial intelligence while browsing the internet. 8. Come up with. To think of or suggest an idea or solution, example, we need to come up with a new strategy to increase our sales. 9. Cut off. To disconnect or terminate a connection, example, the internet connection was cut off due to a power outage. 10. Drop out. To quit or withdraw from a program or course, example, he dropped out of the computer science program in his second year. 11. Figure out. To understand or solve a problem, example, I need to figure out why my computer is running so slow. 12. Fill in. To provide missing information or to substitute for someone, example, can you fill in this form with your personal details? 13. Get around. To find a way to bypass or overcome a problem example, we need to get around the security settings to install this software. 14. Get back to. To return a call or message. Example. I will get back to you as soon as I finish this task. 15. Give up. To quit or abandon a task or goal. Example. I had to give up on the project because it was too complicated. 16. Go over. To review or examine something in detail, example. Let's go over the project requirements again to make sure we haven't missed anything. 17. Keep up with. To stay informed or updated on a topic or situation, example. It's important to keep up with the latest trends in technology. 18. Log in. To access a computer system or account by entering credentials, example, you need to log in with your username and password to access your email. 19. Log out. To exit a computer system or account, example, don't forget to log out when you're done using the computer. 20. Look up. To search for information online or in a reference book, example, I need to look up the definition of this technical term. 21. Make up. To invent or fabricate information or a story, example, he made up a story to cover his mistake. 22. Move on. To progress or continue with something new, example, let's move on to the next item on the agenda. 23. Opt out. To choose not to participate in something, example, I decided to opt out of the new software program because it was too complicated. 24. Power up. To turn on a device or machine. Example. I need to power up the printer before I can print the document. 25. Pull up. To display information on a computer screen. Example. Can you pull up the report on the sales figures for the last quarter? 26. Put off. To postpone or delay something. Example. We had to put off the meeting until next week due to scheduling conflicts. 27. Put together. To assemble or organize something. Example. I need to put together a presentation for the upcoming conference. 28. Run into. To encounter someone or something unexpectedly. Example. I ran into my old professor at the conference yesterday. 29. Set up. 
To install or configure a device or system. Example. I need to set up the new computer before I can use it. 30. Shut down. To turn off a device or machine. Example. Make sure to shut down your computer properly to avoid losing any unsaved work. 31. Sort out. To organize or resolve a problem. Example. We need to sort out the issues with the software before we can launch it. 32. Speed up. To increase the performance or efficiency of a system. Example. We need to speed up the loading time of our website. 33. Start up. To launch or begin a new business or project. Example. She started up her own software development company. 34. Take over. To assume control or responsibility for something. Example. He took over the management of the project after the previous manager resigned. 35. Take up. To start a new hobby or activity. Example. I decided to take up coding as a hobby in my free time. 36. Turn off. To disable or deactivate a feature or function. Example. I need to turn off the pop-up blocker to view the website. 37. Turn on. To enable or activate a feature or function. Example. I need to turn on the Wi-Fi to connect to the internet. 38. Update. To install the latest version or patches of software or firmware. Example. Make sure to update your antivirus software regularly to protect your computer from viruses. 39. Upload. To transfer files or data from a local computer to a remote server or system. Example. I need to upload the presentation to the conference website. 40. Use up. To exhaust or deplete a resource or supply. Example. I used up all my ink cartridges while printing the report. 41. Wake up. To bring a device or machine out of sleep or hibernation mode. Example. I need to wake up the computer to check my email. 42. Watch out. To be careful or cautious. Example. Watch out for phishing scams and never share your personal information online. 43. Work out. To resolve or solve a problem. Example. We need to work out a solution to the issue with the software. 44. Write down. To record or document information. Example. I need to write down the instructions for the new software. 45. Zoom in. To focus on a specific area or object on a computer screen. Example. Can you zoom in on the graph to see the details? 46. Zoom out. To view a larger area or object on a computer screen. Example. I need to zoom out to see the entire map. 47. Log into. To access a computer system or account by entering credentials. Example. You need to log into your bank account to check your balance. 48. Log off. To exit a computer system or account. Example. Don't forget to log off when you're done using the public computer. 49. Plug in. To connect a device or machine to a power source or another device. Example. I need to plug in the charger to charge my phone. 50. Turn down. To reduce the volume or intensity. Example. Can you turn down the music? It's too loud. And that concludes our list of 50 phrasal verbs in computer sciences. I hope you found this video helpful in improving your English language skills and understanding the meanings and usage of these important phrasal verbs. Remember, practicing these phrasal verbs in context is essential for improving your fluency and comprehension. So, make sure to use them in your daily conversations and writing to reinforce your learning. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more language learning content. See you in the next video.